Welcome to gray on what we are asked to solve this problem. We have this right triangle overlapping the square A, B, C, D. And uh, this uh, right triangle is uh, has a leg of uh, the hypotenuse inside this uh, square. And the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle inside this square uh, formed by uh, dividing this uh, Dividing the CD into two parts. Okay, this right triangle ACE. It is one leg of a uh, triangle AFE. And a part outside the overlap is a uh, 48, the yellow region, 48 square units. And we are required to find the area of the blue square. Okay, so first thing that we can do is we can actually uh, draw a line from e upwards okay such that it reaches this uh, point on the, the top part of the square and we form this uh, right angle this should be perpendicular okay so next is we draw another uh, set of lines uh, from this point b and f such that vert a vertical and a horizontal line such that these two lines should be perpendicular to each other okay uh, notice that the ratio of these uh, uh, sides of this uh, this right triangle is uh, 2 is to 1 because this uh, segment AC is not divided into two while this segment uh, AB is divided into two form part of this uh, leg of the this leg of the right triangle this right triangle so this ratio is uh, 2 is to 1 so 2 is to 1 and if we focus on the angle, so uh, if this we label this angle as angle alpha, then with this uh, right triangle, this angle should be the complement. So let's call the complement to be beta. And uh, next is uh, if we try to consider this angle, then since this is 90 degrees, then this should be alpha okay so and since if that is alpha if we consider this for this triangle this let's call this a g so for the triangle afg so this should be uh, beta okay so the ratio also for this uh, uh, for this uh, triangle a F G is also two is to one. Okay, so two is to one for the legs, and uh, also for this uh this right triangle here, this uh, B G B G F. This has also a ratio of two is to one. So if this is two, then this is one because it is parallel to this ED, BG is parallel to ED, and EF is the transversal, this EF. So, this is also 2 is to 1. And uh, with the ratios, so we can represent this uh, BG. If this BG is X, then this uh, FG is 2X. And since also this is 2 is to 1, this... Uh, uh, a G F so this uh, A G should be twice this uh, F G so this becomes a four X so the total is four X or A G but you need to subtract this X so we have here three X or A B so we still have a total of four X okay so via this representation the side of this uh, this, this square is uh, 
3x okay and also this is also the base of this uh, yellow triangle and the height is actually 2x okay so we have here uh, if we write an equation about the area of this uh, yellow triangle so we have 48 is equal to one half times the base of 3x and the height of a uh, 2x okay and we can cancel this 2 and 2 so we have 48 is equal to 3x squared okay so now for the area of the square so the area of the square as per our representation since we have uh, the side let's call this as so we have here the side as 3x but you need to square this okay so this is actually a, a area of the square is equal to 9x square and the area of the square is equal to we can actually factor out 3 so 3 times a uh, 3x square and we know that 3x square is actually 48 so area of the square is equal to 3 times uh, 48 so area of the square is 144 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye